Hi there, welcome to another episode of Sienna NDI Tools for Mac. Today we're going to be looking at the full version of the Sienna NDI scan converter for Mac OS. This is a desktop and application scan converter that allows you to convert contents of your Macintosh desktop and the applications you're running into real-time NDI video feeds to send to a, a display or a vision mixer or a recorder or any other sort of NDI device. The NDI scan converter has several different modes. Um, it can of course display your entire desktop and if you've got multiple monitors you can choose between them. And I'm going to bring in the NDI monitor here to show you what we're doing. So what you'll notice is when you switch away from the NDI scan converter to any other application it disappears so that it's invisible and if you're working with another application and broadcasting your entire screen it won't actually include the Sienna NDI scan converter in that uh, NDI uh, stream, which is very useful. Um, but for this test, I'll bring it back again. So we can choose screen one, which is the one I'm working on. And that's why you're seeing this uh, monitor loop back into itself, because we're actually sending the entire screen um, as a video source, and then we're capturing it again. Um, you can take the whole scale desktop, which in my case is 1920 by 1200. Or we can just take a crop of that, the first uh, 720 or the first 1080 of your screen. Um, also, I've got a second screen here. And here you can see I've got the Safari and another window up. Um, and we can be, uh, if I move those windows around, you're going to see that they are going to move around in the uh, NDI stream that we're viewing. We can also look at individual applications and this is very useful if you uh, want a sort of a clean feed of one particular application. Um, a perfect example would be if I just wanted the Safari window as an NDI source, there we have it. Uh, we don't have any of the background desktop or anything else and it's actually keyed into a uh, transparent background so you could overlay this onto another video in a vision mixer very very easily. Uh, or we can choose something else, there's a little uh, window here showing the music I'm listening to, that's my uh, mp3 player. Um, and of course you can uh, choose any application window you like. If we go back to the entire desktop mode again, um, we've got this clever thing called cropped. Um, and what this lets you do is, if you turn that on, it's going to allow you to select a region of interest. So I'm just dragging this around. If I drag this over to the other monitor, you're going to see that I can choose just a section of the monitor to look at. Um, and if we look at, a, let's say, a YouTube video, um, what we can do is just select an area that is the visual portion of that screen without any of the other bits and pieces. If I set it playing, you're going to see that we've got just the video part uh, without any of the other pieces. So this is a great way to capture part of a screen like a YouTube or a Skype or something like that. Coming back to the NDI monitor again, um, we've also got Keynote for example, and once again this may be something which you would use the application window display for or maybe the crop display. So once again I'm going to take the crop and this time I'm going to put it over the slide and you can see here that we've just got the clean slide and I can jump between the slides and you're seeing how once again the region of interest is very useful for us here. Let's go back to the scan converter again. Um, so in the uh, display entire monitor, you can also choose whether you want to show the mouse or not. And here you can see that there, there's a mouse being shown on the screen. And you can either have it big or small. So if you want to highlight the mouse as you're sending your NDI source, you can turn it onto a big as well. You can choose the frame rate you want to send at. And what you can also do is audio. That's a critical part of the equation here. So if you want to be sending out the audio that's either coming in to your Mac through a microphone or something like that, or you want to be capturing the sound that's coming out of the Mac, um, then NDI Scan Converter allows you to do both of those things, um, including uh, you know looping through the sound so you can still hear what you're doing even as it's being sent by NDI. We've also got a mode for your NDI signal. So the live mode means that it's real time, but if you're doing a presentation and you want to freeze on something that you ended on without seeing, um, without showing everybody else what you're doing afterwards, you can hold the last frame and now the NDI stream is frozen. And if you need to, you can clear the NDI stream as well. Um, and then you can go live when you're ready. And you can also mute the sound as well that you're sending. 
This is NDI Scan Converter, the full version. Uh, it's available from the App Store and also you can find out more information at the website sienna.tv slash NDI. I hope you enjoy it. Come back for the next episode of Sienna NDI Tools for Mac.